Good morning, drumming community. Bart Elliott here. It is Tuesday, August 20th, 2013. This is the video edition of the Press Roll Newsletter. On the calendar today, uh, the Ultimate Drum Camp, which is taking place in Mount Orford, Orford, Orford? O-R-F-O-R-D, Quebec, Canada, kicks off today. Get more information about that on the Drummer Cafe calendar. Uh, it's going to be too late for you to go anyway. It might be hard to get a plane ticket if you don't live in the area. Also, Shannon Larkin is giving a drum clinic. In fact, all the clinics that I'm going to share with you today are taking place at Guitar Center at various locations around the United States. Uh, Godsmack drummer Shannon Larkin has been on a clinic tour, and he is giving a clinic. It starts at 7 p.m., this evening at the Guitar Center in Seattle, and that is being sponsored by Yamaha Drums. Also, Yamaha DTX artist Kenny Arnoff is giving a drum clinic that is uh, at the Guitar Center 7 p.m. tonight in Indianapolis, Indiana, his old stomping ground. And Vinny, uh, see, he goes by Apathy. Vinny Apathy is giving a clinic 7 p.m. tonight at the Guitar Center in Emeryville, 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 California. All this information is available on the Drummer Cafe calendar. Go to drummercafe.com forward slash calendar.html to see the best drum clinic and percussion clinic calendar on the internet. And just a little side note, Vinny Apice is brother to Carmine, Carmine Apice. So they are brothers, but they cannot agree on the proper way to pronounce it. And I believe it is Apice, uh, but Carmine went with Apice because that's what so many people have said. So he just is going with the flow. Uh, a couple other things to mention is that Black Sabbath, I guess it's former Black Sabbath drummer Bill Ward, has a new uh, art uh, debut. Scene 4 is a company. You can go to scene4.com or go to Drummer Cafe and see the news. You can search for uh, Scene 4 and you'll get all the news on the various drummers who are doing these art pieces where they capture the guys playing the drums and morph it and do something with it, computerize it, and make these images of it. You can see pictures of that and even some video on Drummer Cafe, especially for the new Bill Ward uh, piece. In fact, that's on the front page there at drummercafe.com. Also, just to mention that Bill <clears throat> is working on a solo album titled Accountable Beasts. How appropriate. <laughs> it says he's been working on this for about five years and needs to get back in the studio to finish the final mixes. Um, also, I'll mention I got a um, CD in the mail, uh, gosh, maybe a week, week ago. It's by Joe Silva. It's called Blue. And uh, sorry for the screen freaking out there. This was actually produced by Anton Fig. Joe is a singer-songwriter who also plays guitar, uh, multi-instruments, instrumentalist, Got his start playing drums, think he got a toy drum when he was three, and kind of stuck with the drumming thing since then. Um, I listened to the CD. It definitely has what I would call a New York singer-songwriter kind of a vibe. I can't explain it. It's just the, the arrangement and, and just the way it sounds. And maybe it's a... Uh, I'm being influenced from the fact that I know that Will Lee's playing bass on some of this and Anton Fig plays some tracks. Um, the playing is good. I can definitely hear a difference between Joe Silva and Anton Fig. I guess no surprise with that. Um, Anton's definitely, his playing's a lot better than Joe. Sorry, Joe. Um, I don't know that I'm going to review the CD because I just don't get it. I... Um, it's hard for me to review a CD if the style and such is really not in my area of expertise or, or even what I'm into. So you can check it out. Um, unfortunately, 
at least with Amazon, there are no sample tracks for you to listen to. But my honest thing, this is not to poo-poo it, but I just don't get it. I don't, I don't get the CD. I, it's, it, uh, it's very classic, old school, kind of folky rock, uh, very storytelling just in the way that the mix is and that the vocals are, are very upfront and I don't know sort of like older um, I don't wanna I don't wanna say that because it'll it'll put a label on it anyway just maybe check it out but in all honesty there was not one track that I heard that was for me that walked away memorable or that I was humming the tune or that I would want to listen to it again. But you might be into it, but that's just me. That's going to be it for today in this installment. Thanks for checking out. Be sure to check out my new episode on Drummer Cafe TV. It's a brand new show that I've been developing and working on for several years. And uh, hopefully it, you'll hopefully you'll like it and it won't <laughs> you won't have the kind of comments that I had about this CD that you'll have about the show, but thus far, uh, very positive. Close to 2,000 views on Drummer Cafe TV, and I also made the episode available on the YouTube channel on for Drummer Cafe, and that's been about 750 views. And so far, been positive uh, responses, thumbs up, only one thumb down from South Korea. And uh, one comment, a guy said that he felt like uh, it was too long, that not everybody has time to actually sit down and watch a 40-minute episode. And I get that, but I've got a lot of other videos that are much shorter. If I don't wrap this one up soon, it won't be. We're at seven minutes. But uh, I have no intentions of really making the show shorter. It's a show. It's not just a video. It's supposed to be a show, a sort of a variety show with lots of different things in it. And uh, shows will run 30 to 40 minutes. And when there's an interview included, unless I split out the interviews individually, it's going to be that long. So trying to make it snappy and fun. Uh, my buddy Andy Zyker said he wished it was longer. He wanted more. Thank you, Andy. But I don't want it longer because it takes too long to edit. So anyway, check out drummercafe.com. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, other drum clinics. Did I, even, I don't even think I mentioned this. can't believe I missed it. Dennis Chambers is in Nashville today. Forks Drum Closet is bringing Dennis Chambers. It will be at 3rd and Lindsley tonight. Tickets are $10. See Dennis Chambers in Nashville. $10. So remember to go out and support these. If you are in an area that doesn't bring in drum clinics, you got to get out there and support music. Go hear bands, support your local drum shop or music store, encourage them to bring in clinicians, but if you don't go out and see the clinicians, you know what? They're not going to bring them in. It's just that simple. It costs money to bring them in, not only for the venue, but also the manufacturers who are sponsoring the event. So go support live music, support these drummers and percussionists out doing clinics. And you know what? Even if it's not a style that you dig, you can always learn something. Even if it's like what you don't want to do or what not to do. I don't know. But you can always learn something from somebody. Always, always, always. Uh, so go out and do it. Thank you for supporting Drummer Cafe. Till next time, have a great day. Be kind to each other. Ciao.